Look, we have, we have a public safety crisis on top of the COVID crisis, on top of the housing crisis, on top of the employment crisis. Uh, and am I shocked that crime went up when unemployment went up and desperation went up uh, and it's harder to find a job and people aren't getting any income? Uh, no. That there was Andrew Cuomo earlier today talking about the skyrocketing crime rates in New York, China virus cases once again spiraling out of control, and growing housing and unemployment crises in that state. It's clear that it is time for new leadership in the Empire State, and my next guest believes he's the right man for the job. Derek Gibson, Republican gubernatorial candidate for governor of the great state of New York, and he joins us now from Georgia, where, he, as I understand it, you're stumping for Kelly Loeffler. Uh, welcome, sir. Hi, right, glad to be here, Chris. Uh, Mr. Gibson, uh, Governor Cuomo tweeted this out over the weekend. It says, uh, happy hashtag small business Saturday. Small business drives New York's economy and makes our communities and neighborhoods unique. Support your locally owned small businesses. You know, Mr. Gibson, those words mean so much from a guy who shut down New York's businesses and then turned a blind eye as his cronies in BLM and Antifa torched and looted those businesses. What do you say? Right. And how can you support the small business when they are closed, when the lockdown orders are mandatory in different areas of the city? So you can't support the uh, small business. You can't have it uh, both ways. Uh, if we open our economy up, then we can support our small business. Uh, this uh, governor is playing games uh, with politics, and we have got to move forward from that opening economy back up and uh, uh, keep it going. Yeah, Black Lives Matter, uh, Antifa was destroying the city, and he told police, him and the mayor of the Blasio, to stand down. And now that you see the business are opening up so they can feed their families, he's sending the Gestapo to arrest them. Yeah, it's, 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 it just boggles the mind how this guy can say he's done a fantastic job uh, running New York. Look, you, you've got uh, some headwinds. A lot, there are a lot of bastions around New York that are conservative, and you're running as a conservative Republican. But that tough nut to crack is the city of New York, one of the major population centers, of course, in the state. How do you convince folks who are diehard Democrat socialists to give you a look and say, hey... Uh, you can run the state much better. Well, I've been doing it. I've been in the streets for uh, two years, and I've been uh, talking to mostly Democrat liberals in the state of New York and trying to convince them why they should support me and why they should support a Republican candidate at this point uh, dealing with the Democrat for three years. So I get some good feedback. I have a lot of uh, Democrats and uh, liberals supporting me also and a lot from the LGBT community also. I am in the city. I live in the city, uh, Forest Hills, Rigo Park area. So uh, it's very important that I get at least 25 or 30 percent of the support from the city. Uh, upstate is basically red anyway. So at the moment, I'm concentrating on this city myself to uh, pull those votes in and let them know why, because I want to give power back to the people. I want you to govern. I want to cut the New York state government down. It's too large. It's intrusive all into our uh, religious institution and school system. So I want to get a power back to the people. So that's the message that I give to uh, the people on the street that are liberals and Democrats. And by the way, I went down to Occupy City Hall and I spoke with some of those occupying that, uh, some of the leaders, and I was able to uh, change their mind, turn them around, show them what President Trump was actually doing for the community. Uh, some of the fake news won't tell you. They just push propaganda and hatred towards the man. So I gained a lot of support from uh, uh, those people that uh, in Black Lives Matter and in uh, uh, Occupy City Hall. Newsmax TV is now America's fastest growing cable news channel. We give you the real news you need. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and give us a thumbs up. If you like this video, share it with your friends. Newsmax TV streams live on YouTube for free. Newsmax TV, real news for real people.